What is up guys, Johnny here. In today's video, we look at the new infusion system, Shadowgun Legend. Infusion system is something we've been talking about for a long time, months and months. It was brought up in some of the mad streams early and it's been in development for months and it's finally out in the update 0.7.0. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. So we're gonna look at this today in details. So what exactly is the infusion system? It's a new system in the game that will give you a chance to increase the item power of your favorite pieces of gear. You can do that directly from your inventory. What can you upgrade? You can upgrade anything you have. It could be weapons and it could be armor, but it has to be uncommon or higher. You cannot use common items to upgrade. Now, what is infusion going to do about the perks? Exactly nothing. When you infuse an item, only the power will go up, the perks will stay the same. Now what about the weapon damage? For each level of power that a weapon goes up, the damage goes up. But everything else stay the same usually. Now is this game still free to play or is it going to become pay to win because of infusion system? Right, infusion system will be powered by soft currency. It is what you gain by playing missions and what you get from your paychecks and what you get from selling items. It will also be powered by the new materials that you can farm in dungeons and you can get by disassembling some of your extra gear. Madfinger Games is strongly against pay to win mechanics and every player will have the same chance to use infusion system. One question that came up earlier, will materials take place in your inventory? The answer is no. And then last thing, will we get more in the future? The infusion system will be growing in the future. What we have right now is just to upgrade power level, but in the future, they want to give us a chance to make our own gear with the perks that we like. So we already talk about perks reroll. We will see in the future how it's going to come up. But let's look at the infusion as it is right now. So straight from the inventory, I can look at my gear. And if I click on my chest piece right now, it is a 249 epic buddy that I really like. It's got triple HP. It's a good piece to infuse. So I could click on the infuse button, but look at the left, the far left. You see my infusion materials already. I've been playing a lot today. I got some green, some blue, some purple, and some legendary material. If you click on it, it's called Pulsar Heart. I disassembled all my extra legendaries today. Now the burning chrome is the purple. Carmenite and the plastil is the green one. Now, if I click on the infuse button, you will get information about infusion system. You can infuse uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary weapons and armor of the same class. So, next step would be infusion takes certain resources that you can find in dungeons and gold arena. To get resources, you can also disassemble unwanted items, and now you can infuse power from one other item. So, you need an item and materials to do the infusion. So, I need to select an item here. So, I could use one of my legendary chests that is 250 because my old one is 249. If I use my legendary body to infuse, it would bring my epic chest to 250 power. And you see at the bottom all the required resources to do the infusion. But what I want to tell you guys is do not use your legendary items to do infusions because you can use an epic if you want. And that epic that I found today is 255.6. I could use that instead of my legendary. That would bring my old epic chest to 255.6. Now you see at the bottom, I don't have enough resources, so I should keep grinding resources. I will need 195 greens, 100 blues. I already got the purples and legendaries to do it. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is don't use legendary items to do infusions because you're just gonna lose them. Instead, you should disassemble legendaries that you don't like to get legendary material. This is gonna be much harder to find, much more valuable than just wasting your legendary by infusing it in something else. So first tip guys for now, if you're going to infuse something, use epics to give the power to your old items. Don't use legendaries. Now I could do the same thing with my legendary chest. I got a legendary buddy. It's not that great though, so I will probably not infuse it. But let's just see. I could use an epic to power up my legendary. It would become 254.5 after the infusion. 
and I would need a bit less resource to do it. Now here's the deal guys. Infusion system is very expensive in materials. So you should only do infusion on your very best items. The items that you love more than anything else you have in your inventory. The weapons with the best perks possible and the highest possible number. 10% fire rate, 10% damage, 10% to elite, 15 crit. If you have a nice one with 13 crit and 8% damage, well, you can still do infusion if you want, but you're wasting a lot of resource on the infusing something that is not perfect, and you might find a better one in the future. So you don't want to go and waste all these resources that you spend lots of time grinding and waste everything on an infusion to later replace that item for a better one. One example I have is my AT Kosa. It's been my favorite machine gun for a very long time. And now I could do infusion on that thing. It's got 15 crit, it's got 10 damage, 10 fire rate. These are the maximum numbers you can find on these perks. They are very good damage perks. I don't have a bad perk on that weapon. Of course, I could use something else instead of iron sight, but it's still a very good weapon. I could use damage to elites maybe. But this is the weapon I've been using for months and I'm probably gonna use infusion system on that one. So a couple tips before we go guys. Because it's very expensive, you should start maybe using infusion on your weapons because you actually gain damage from it. You don't gain much for infusing armor except you power level. But second thing, only use infusion system on your best items ever. Don't just start infusing everything. You will 100% regret that very soon. And last thing, remember guys, I do not recommend you use legendary items to infuse power, at least at the start. And you should use your duplicate legendaries only to get legendary material. I think if you use legendaries to infuse, you're just gonna lose them. So I think that's it for the infusion system. I hope it covers everything. If you have any question about infusion system, make sure you leave a comment below. I will try to answer everything. Don't forget to watch the mad stream for more information so once again thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel for more shadowgun legends news gameplay and guides i will be back soon until then watch my other videos take care